Welcome to my project password.com Now we discuss about image quality assessment for web biometric detection applications to iris, fingerprint and face recognition the developing security world we use password and hardware also biometric detail for the authentication process the biometrics is recognition of iris, fingerprint and 2D or 3D faces a biometric details are changed from one person to another person so it was the individual, secu individual security or password method for each every person also the twins and also it is not memorable but this biometric system security accuracy is very low because we map the five biometric details for to hack the details so we need to enhance that security system it is the most needed security for future world. In our project, we enhance the security system by using software based method. In the process, we use image quality assessment method and quadratic digital analysis method to detect the lack of biometric details. This is the flow diagram for our report system. In this flow diagram, first we give the query image. The query image is nothing but an input image. That image is like iris, fingerprint or 2D face. Now we go to the recessing process. The recessing process the given image size will be changed because all the input images in various size. So we convert the image size in our user defined for use the further process. Now the recessed image will go to the RGB separation process. Sometimes the given image is in RGB. So we convert that RGB image into gray. Sometimes the recessed image in gray level. So it is not changing in gray. So that the image is RGB it convert to gray. If else it is not convert to gray. Now the RGB process is over. It will go to the Gaussian filter process. In this Gaussian filter process, we design a Gaussian filter. That Gaussian filter design is the sigma value is 0.5. 0.3 or 0.4 and also the matrix value is 3 cross 3 or 5 cross 5 or 4 cross 4. It is user different. Now the Gaussian filter is filter the recessed image and it removes the noises in the images. Now the Gaussian filter or the filtered image will go to the image quality assessment process. The image quality assessment process is compare the two images like the filtered image and also the non-filtered image and we compare that two images and give the image quality value and that we, we extract the lemon image quality value now we go to the test feature expression process in this process we find the lemon image quality value in image, image quality assessment process now we store that all lemon quality in the future it is called the test feature now the test feature will go to the QDA quadratic testament analysis classifier and we see the training feature now the training feature will be starting from data set and first we load the whole data set and the each images will be in loop first we find the length of data set and the data set length will be equal to the length of the train feature the process will be stopped this process is same as the query image first the data set one image is selected and it will be convert to gray and then the gray the image go to the Gaussian filter process now the Gaussian filter process over will go to the image quality process image quality assessment process the image quality process started the 11 quality will be extracted and we store the train feature and then we check the length of the trend feature. Now it is not equal to the data set length, it will be go to the load the another data set image. Now it is equal to the data set length, it store the store the trend feature and the group. 
now the group value will be stored the group is there are two group is in our proper system one is fake and another is original or the fake is not authentication person and the original is authentication person now the store trend feature and group so train feature and group will be go to the classifier and also the group will be go to the classifier and the test feature will be a classifier the classifier first train the train feature with compared to the group now the training will be over now the test feature will be compared to the train feature and it will be give the result it's the fact or original now i demonstrate how to run the project first open the matlab and then Right click the disk guide item and run the file. Then the disk guide will be open. Now we select to the process button in the disk guide. Then the input process guide will be open. Now that input process guide, first I will load the image. Now I will select one query image from that folder. Now it is the size of the query image. It is three hundred plus three hundred. Now The query image is not RGB, so we convert to that image into gray image. We select the gray image button. Now it is the gray image for query image. Now the image will be converted to gray. Then we go to the resize the gray image. Then we select the resize button. There are two choices will be there. Now we select two fifty cross two fifty six. Now the image gray image size will be changed. Now we go to the filter the gray image. We select the Filter process. Now there are three options will be there. Now I select Gaussian three plus three filter. Then it is the filtered image. Now we go to the identification process. The identification process we identify the given query image is fake or original. I will select the next button for identification process. Now the output display guy will be open. The output display guy first we calculate the image quality of given image. I will. Press the I Q A button for calculate the image quality. Now this is the eleven image quality value of given image. Now I go to identify the query image is fake or original. I will press the identification button for the identification of given image. Now the given query image is fake image. Now we go to press the analysis button for analysis the classifier accuracy and also existing and proposed systems accuracies. Now it is the confusion matrix for for it is source uh, accuracy of the classifier. Now it is the comparison graph of existing method and proposed method. Now it is the performance graph for classifier. Now we go to press the exit button for exit the process, and now we press the home button. We go to the process start. Now I will. Select the exit button for exit the process. Now the process will be exit. Thank you.